on the desolate planet of Kepler 22b, two androids called father and mother have peacefully raised their small family. However, their lives drastically change after the Mithraic, or the religious people, arrive on their planet. Father and mother arrive on Kepler 22b through a spacecraft, and upon realizing that the ship will soon fall into a hole, father cautions mother that they must immediately get out. While mother removes her things from the ship, father tries to hold it still so she can get out safely. As mother gets out, the ship finally falls into the pit. Fortunately, father manages to grab mother via a large case she's holding. The ship also doesn't go deep into the hole, making it retrievable. Father and mother survey the land until they arrive on a flat ground surrounded by rock formations, where they set up their barracks. Inside, mother lies unclothed while father connects six embryos into her belly through artificial umbilical cords. Nine months later, father cuts one artificial umbilical cord connecting to a fully formed baby inside a container. He takes the baby out while smiling warmly to mother and covers it with a cloth before transferring it to another container. While mother watches with a smile, father continues to transfer their babies until he reaches the sixth one. However, when father learns that the sixth infant is not breathing, he suggests breaking it down and feeding it to others, just as their programming dictates. But mother requests to hold the baby first, and while she sheds tears and hums, the baby suddenly starts fussing. Their programming dictates that the young youngest baby will be named after their creator, Campion, a strong name suited for a child who has overcome death. The years fly by, and the babies grow into young children who appear to have come from diverse races. Like good parents, mother and father keenly supervise the kids as they continue to grow and play outside while they work on their farm. One day, father and mother unearth a skeleton of a large serpent. Then mother gets the kids to look at what they discovered. As soon as they near the skeleton, father playfully scares them, making the kids laugh. Later that day, while mother and the others are gathered at the table, one of the kids, Tally, goes out of the house. But when mother calls Tally, the little girl is unable to hear her as she has walked far. As Tally sings and plays with her doll, she is oblivious that she is already heading toward a large hole. Immediately, father, mother, and Tally's siblings search for her. Then, after following Tally's footprints, mother arrives at the hole and finds Tally's doll near the edge. Unfortunately, Tally is nowhere to be found. Presuming Tally is dead, the family grieves as father inscribes her name on a gravestone. Since then, the household feels different and less enthusiastic, and the children have also become susceptible to illnesses. Four years later, only two children, Speria and Campion, have survived. There are now four gravestones near their shelter. However, Speria also seems ill as she coughs non-stop while they work on the farm. Inside their house, mother tells the two children about the Mithraic, a religious order strongly opposed to androids raising children. Mother emphasizes that the civilization they're seeding there will be built on humanity's belief in itself, not an imagined deity. At the same time, she corrects Campion when he suggests that praying might make Speria better, saying only science can do that. When Campion points out that science didn't help the others, Mother replies it's because they have more to learn. Then, Mother strictly says they are atheists, adding that they're peaceful and technocratic. Later that night, Campion can only watch Mother kiss the lifeless Speria, who was placed next to their other siblings the following day. As Campion watches Father bury Speria, he states they don't belong on that planet, prompting mother to comfort him. But mother starts malfunctioning, with white liquid coming out of her nose. Father immediately attends to mother and plans to get her back to the barracks, but she instructs him to continue his job, functioning normally again. As they return to their shelter, father finds Campion praying inside and tells the boy not to let mother catch him praying. That night, while Campion sits glumly in the corner, mother tries to mimic Spiria's voice to comfort him, but it doesn't work. Campion tells mother of his worry about forgetting how Spiria looks, just as he has forgotten the other then, Mother unexpectedly learns a new skill from her programming and successfully molds her features to resemble Speria's face, finally making Campion happy. The next day, Campion follows Father to the hole, learning that he intends to go down to reach their ship and make contact with the Mithraic Ark, which is now orbiting Kepler-22b. Although they're their enemies, Father has decided to send Campion to the Mithraic so that someone will look after him when he and Mother are gone. The naive Campion asks Father if the Mithraic can fix him and Mother to keep them from breaking down, so Father replies it's likely within their power. He is about to add more, but when Campion cheerfully says they'll have the Mithraic fix them, Father chooses to just agree with him. However, he strictly tells Campion to keep their plan for Mother until it's too late for her to stop them. Just as Father is about to go
go down, Campion stops him, worried about the serpents he believes are living deep down the pits. So father says they're extinct. After what happened to Tally, the children were strictly forbidden from going near the holes. And father admits they only used the serpent story to scare them and ensure that they would follow. But as father descends, he notices something that appears to be snakeskin. Suddenly, the rope begins to fray. So Campion throws father another rope, prompting him to climb up. With this failed attempt, father informs Campion that they will try again the following day with a stronger rope. Inside the barracks, mother goes into sleep mode, which lets her mind wander into a devastated world. When she tells father about it later that day, she says she was actually flying when she came out of sleep mode. Father then asks to do a system check on mother to help extend her functioning, but she does not respond. After that, mother inquires about Campion's day, and the child is unable to conceal that he and father have been at the hole to retrieve the ship. Mother immediately confronts father about it, becoming angry when father points out that Campion needs to be with other humans. With great strength, mother attacks father and impales him on the fangs of the serpent skeleton, ripping out his heart or processor that causes his deactivation. To explain father's absence to Campion the next day, mother fabricates a story that father has shut down permanently. She also adds she has to throw his remains into a hole due to their power cells becoming radioactive when they cease to function. However, mother suddenly malfunctions, so Campion takes her to their shelter. As she rests, Campion goes to the pit to continue father's mission. After entering the ship, Campion finds a floating orb that suddenly glows when it senses him coming close. Then, upon hearing voices coming from it, Campion immediately asks for help. When Campion taps the orb, the ship unexpectedly powers up, prompting him to get out and hold on to the rope. As the ship falls deeper into the hole, Campion climbs back to the surface. When he returns home, Campion finds mother collapsed on the sand, and he hugs her tightly, thinking she has broken down. One morning, mother and Campion awaken to the voices of the Mithriac members who followed the signal Campion sent through the ship. Mother strictly instructs Campion not to reveal that she is an android. Then she declares that they're atheists when the men question their faith. Despite her desire to send them away, Way, mother is unable to refuse the men who ask for food. So mother and Campion accommodate the three men and one android into their house. Mother also expects them to leave after their meals. But Marcus, the group's captain, pleads to let them spend the night there because they cannot leave due to temperature reasons. Although she's hesitant, mother lets the men sleep in the barracks. Once the men are alone, Marcus informs the others that mother is an android. After discussing and thinking that Campion might be a prophet, the men resolve to take the boy with them. Then, Marcus orders Jin, their android bodyguard to handle mother if she ever objects to them taking the boy in the morning. The next day, Marcus carries out his plan to bring Campion aboard by promising that they'll fix mother and stop her from breaking down. But first, Marcus wants Campion to visit their ark. However, Campion refuses to leave without mother. So Marcus tries to persuade him again with the idea of having a playmate and seeing real animals. Mother only listens in silence, but upon hearing enough, she walks toward them. Unfortunately, Jin immediately stops her with his attacks. While Marcus picks up Campion and tries to run off with him. Mother is badly beaten by Jin, but moments later, Mother recovers and matches Jin's strength, eventually defeating him. When she catches up with the Mithraic, Mother punches Marcus as he lets Campion go. She also weaponizes and unleashes a deadly shriek that burns the other men's faces, killing them. Mother then instructs Campion to stay where he is before she chases after Marcus, who is running toward their ship. Changing her appearance, Mother flies as she goes after Marcus. Meanwhile, Marcus fails to escape on their ship as Mother has overridden its command. When mother goes inside, Marcus closes his eyes and repeatedly shoots her, but mother isn't harmed. Instead, Marcus gets tossed out of the ship and knocked unconscious. Then, mother maneuvers the ship back to the Ark, where she imitates Marcus' form to get access. Upon entering the Ark, she kills everyone who gets in her way. Using her deadly shriek, mother easily disintegrates her enemies. Afterward, mother breaks into the control room, where the rest of the Mithraic try to gun her down. But their bullets are no match for mother, who kills them all with just one shriek. Then, Mother tries to access their system to make the Ark crash on Kepler 22b. When it asks for retinal identification, Mother walks away and pulls up a survivor hiding under the table. Mother uses the man's retina to gain access. Then she searches for the location of the human children, who were in a snow-covered forest. At the same time, the Ark is now set to crash on Kepler 22b. In another room, Mother wears a blindfold and takes an ultraviolet shower for purification. After that, she goes to the forest and greets the children. Meanwhile, Campion is covering the corpses when the Ark emerges in the sky, but it crashes and explodes. The impact is powerful, and Marcus, who's just regained consciousness, witnesses the Ark's destruction. Marcus then tries to communicate with the Ark, Heaven, via the sunprint on his clothing, but no one responds. Moments later, another ship lands near Campion. Inside the ship, Mother has brought five human children who are to be Campion's new companions. 
Sadly, Campion starts to think he's no longer safe with Mother. In the year 2145, Boston had been devastated by the war between the Mithraic and Atheists. While fighting to survive, two Atheist soldiers named Caleb and Mary rescued Albert, a damaged medical android. After discovering that Albert contained confidential medical data on Mithraic soldiers who would board the Ark to leave Earth, Caleb ordered the android to perform plastic surgery on him and Mary to disguise them as designated Ark passengers. While recovering from surgery, both of them learned the Mithraic religion. Then, when the healing process was complete, the two looked at themselves in the mirror and saw the faces of Captain Marcus and his wife, Sue. Following that, they searched for the real Marcus and Sue to kill them. However, they soon discovered they needed to look after the deceased couple's son, Paul, whom they met on the Ark. In the present, Mother finally removes her blindfold, revealing she's taken out her eyes, the source of her powers. She then takes the dead Mithraic android's eyes and uses them as her own. Afterward, she rips out the android's heart or processor and puts it inside Father's body, successfully reactivating him. Upon getting rebooted, Father instantly notices how Mother's eyes have changed, and the latter reasons that she needed to remove her original eyes to keep her children safe. Mother also informs Father that they can now start anew with the addition of five children to their family that she retrieved from the Ark called Heaven. Meanwhile, Marcus arrives at the hole where Mother and Father's ship fell. Upon finding the rope secured to the rocks, he ties it to his waist and lies by the edge, trying to get heat from the pit. Afterward, Mother and Father proceed to bury the corpses. When Father inquires about their encounter with a Mithraic, Mother dismisses the question, urging Father to focus on their new life. But as she senses Father's uneasiness, Mother assures him that she has never lost control. She also explains that she can't weaponize without her eyes. However, she intends to keep them, believing they will need them someday. The next morning, Father goes inside their home, where he finds the children lying on their beds. Campion is in disbelief upon seeing him, but he eventually hugs him in pure joy. As they walk to the kitchen, Campion learns the truth that Mother has deactivated Father. The boy then reports that Mother has killed everyone aboard the Ark, and one soldier said she was a necromancer. This gains the interest of the other children, listening to how Father assures Campion that Mother is now harmless as she has disarmed herself. Campion is about to object, but Mother suddenly enters the room, prompting him to die divert the topic by inquiring about Mother's plan with the other children. Mother responds that they are now Campion's new family, but Campion is unhappy and traumatized after witnessing Mother's murderous form. Mother later invites the kids to eat, and she calls their names as she gives them their meal, beginning with Vita, Holly, Tempest, Paul, Hunter, and Campion. As they gather at the table, Mother collects their Mithraic pendant since they are now in an atheist household. Then, she warns the children not to leave the settlement, saying they will starve or freeze to death. Later that day, Father talks to Mother alone, learning she's hidden her murderous eyes under the floor inside the barracks. Then, he approaches Campion, who immediately asks if Mother's eyes have been destroyed, but Father only asks the boy to trust him in handling the matter. Afterward, Campion tries to get close to the new children by offering them blankets. Despite their silent treatment, Campion remains friendly and tells them the story of his deceased siblings through the drawings on their walls. As Campion inquires about Paul's mouse, Hunter urges Paul to give it to the curious boy, but Hunter eventually confronts confronts Campion about Mother, convincing him she is a necromancer and built for mass extermination. At the same time, despite Campion's warning that praying is forbidden in their home, the human children pray to their deity, Sol. When Mother goes to check on them, she is unhappy to see Campion playing with a mouse, prompting him to give it back to Paul. She also orders Campion to teach the other kids how to farm, and they all go out to follow Mother's orders. That night, Mother gathers the children at the table for a lecture until she takes Tempest from the group, bringing her to the barracks. Tempest is instructed to sleep there from then on, and Mother adds that she must be monitored constantly, revealing she knows the girl is pregnant. Then, Tempest admits that she was touched by a Heliodramas, the second highest ranking member of the church, while they were in hibernation. Tempest is disgusted to think she's carrying the man's child, but Mother assures her that she will guide her. While Father is outside, he hears a noise and notices something moving in the field. In the barracks, Mother is also alerted by a growling sound, but when she goes to get her android eyes, they are no longer in her hiding spot. Mother then goes outside, where she asks Father about her eyes. Realizing that Campion is behind the eyes' disappearance, Father confronts him in their house. Campion initially refuses to tell where he's hidden them, but the pouch containing the eyes eventually drops on the floor. 
After acquiring her eyes from father, mother immediately weaponizes, flying and destroying the dangerous lizard-like creatures that are after Tempest. Mother also instructs Tempest not to look at her and return to the barracks. Once the threats are eliminated, father instructs mother to cycle down. As she descends, mother wonders about the creature's sudden appearance in the area, leading father to volunteer to examine their remains. Mother also thanks father for not destroying her eyes, and she weaponizes again to carefully monitor their surroundings. Meanwhile, the other lizard-like creatures lunge at a sleeping Marcus, causing him to fall into the hole. Luckily, he is saved by the rope tied to his waist. Then, other Mithraic people come to rescue him later, and they carry Marcus on a stretcher. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.